So my platform is sort of structured around a tri-pronged approach to academics because I feel like there's three main parts of academics at UCLA. The first one is transitioning in. So I plan to hold enrollment workshops and different ways to help you connect to your school and your resources. Um, the second part is what I call charge up. So it's helping you make the most of your career at UCLA. So it's things like advocating for a business minor, getting course readers online, um, continuing to advocate for pre-professional counseling so that you can really get the most out of your time here at UCLA. Um, the third part is transitioning out. So that's helping you succeed after UCLA because UCLA is just a step in your way to becoming whoever you want to become. Um, so to that end, I plan to hold various um, internship workshops, bringing speakers on campus, um, helping you um, connect to administrators to get the internships that you need. Um, and basically that's what everything revolves around. Everything else in my platform connects to those three things. Well, I don't plan on excluding any one subset. For example, my pre-professional counseling plank is consisting of getting pre-med, pre-business, and pre-law professional counselors um, because I think that there's a various um, different things that people want to go into after UCLA. Um, but even if you don't want to go to professional school, there's still going to be um, different workshops for you including enrollment workshops and also alleviating enrollment issues which is one thing that I think all students can relate to the frustrations of. Something I'll be working on is called a diversity spotlight series. I would be working in conjunction with the LGBT research studies center, um, ethnic studies research centers and departments. I would be working with the women's studies research center just to have like an open house, maybe a forum. It would be open to the center or the department just to expose students to different minors and the different majors available to them, especially for the smaller majors and minors. Um, not only that, there's also research opportunities, there's internship opportunities that students are not aware of and need to be exposed to. Did work on the diverse, diversity requirement campaign this year, hopefully with the whole there was a highlight on the diversity crisis here at UCLA, and I think this would be the time to actually be able to understand, you know, LA is a very diverse city. We are all going to become future leaders, and we all need to understand different communities. Um, and hopefully by implementing this into general education requirements, it would be a stepping stone towards being able to have a more tolerable campus as well as understanding other communities. So I have basically four main platform ideas. So one is going to be Concerts for Cash, where we're bringing in big name hip hop artists or other artists to perform in Poly Pavilion, which is going to generate revenue for us. The other one is the Cultural Night and Programs Aid. Part of the money coming for the except, um, like extra aid for these programs is coming from the Concerts for Cash. So like a lot of Culture Nights are held on campus and they all need money. I've worked in a Culture Night for myself, myself for the past two years and I understand how much culture groups could use this aid. Not only aid in financial aid, also like resources. Like if a small group comes to us and says, hey, we want to put on this program, it's cultural affairs job to tell them where to get stuff from and how to put this on. Also by forming a cultural awareness coalition, which is basically going to be a coalition where I'm going to invite all the um, all the representatives of all the cultural groups to come and join and have a listserv so we can maybe have a quarterly meeting where we can d discuss and have like a database of vendors. If you all like renovating all the existing programs and keeping them, there's some really nice programs and some programs which are not so up to par, so improving and renovating the existing programs. One of my main priorities is to increase the student voice in terms of the arts here on campus because I feel that at UCLA there's a very um, underappreciation, undervalue of student performance performances. So I want to increase that by creating this Arts Advocacy Coalition, which will be um, a group of student representatives from various art forms on campus who will come together and I will provide that space for them so they can pool their resources and really make sure that the student voice is heard. So that would also include increasing student performance opportunities on campus, including one of um, part of my platform would be to create a regular student performance series on Bruin Walk. Um, uh, on Bruin Plaza, just to ensure you know the cultivation of their talents. And, you know, concert like like jazz reggae. Why not plug in an educational component as well? And we feel as students first the main how to build tolerance on campus and how to create you know a culture of sustainability, of diversity, of safety is to educate students. Last year, I I spearheaded a recycling program on on the hill where every building every room in Deneuve 
EF had a recycling bin in the in the students' room. And and extension is that I wanted um, since we have the physical components, I wanted to educate the residents, and the, res the sustainability resource chairs would be a good way to do that. Um, and one of my platform items is to create a broom trading program where students will be able to utilize a space to exchange personal possessions. And that directly relates to affordability because students will be able to connect with each other to save on future purchases. In addition to that, um, after the trading program has um, finished, um, all the things that are left over will go directly to projects like Brunhope, um, Brun Corps, or Hunger Projects. For example, Brunhope is a project, a community service project that goes to, to the orphanages in Tijuana, and they are in need of resources that the UCLA students have to provide. In addition to that, um, even though I will be focusing on three issues, it doesn't mean that I won't be helping with um, facilitating transportation and Westwood issues. Um, I think those two issues are inherent in the commission and they, um, I think everyone should know that um, although I have three platforms, those two things, I will also be working on those two items as well. And as a current intern for the Transportation Services Policy and Planning Division, I have a close connection with um, Transportation Services and I have a very clear understanding of all the um, options available and what is feasible for the Facilities Commission to do. Well, basically my platform is divided into three different um, sections. Um, things that affect your life at UCLA, things that affect your campus, and things that affect your Westwood. One of the biggest things that I feel that hasn't been done in years at the school um, was create more accessibility to Kirkhoff. I'd like to revitalize Kirkhoff and make it more accessible to the over 850 student groups that we have at UCLA. Um, I'd like to create more storage space, more mailboxes, more locker rooms, access to computers, um, as well as access to resources that every student group can use fairly and equally on this campus. What I really want to work on are um, expanding wireless, blanketing wireless across the entire campus, including the residence halls, not just the campus. Currently, we only have hotspots. Um, we did increase the amount of hotspots. I have been talking to um, the technology center to discuss, you know, the feasibility of this happening. They said it's feasible. Um, as a lot of you have noticed this year, um, the greenhouse project came about in Ackerman Union. I worked with ACUCLA Board of Directors to implement that this year. In addition, we have the Laval Greening Project, which is make, basically making your campus more efficient, more sustainable, more healthy. Um, that next year, Laval is going to be a project where we're trying to bring biodegradable products, make it more efficient as far as electricity. Just campus-wide, we're really trying to make our use of um, energy efficient. This year is helping students pay for college. We have three ways to do that through programming, advocacy, and finance-based projects. And the programming part of the uh, programming part of my platform deals with the book lending program, increasing access to it and expanding it. And it also includes putting programs like making money after you graduate and um, money management education workshops. The, what I want to do is to establish a textbook scholarship that uh, students can um, apply to get textbooks and return those books after they're done with them to the textbook lend, uh, lending program so that it's sustainable. Initially the scholarship will only benefit five students but after the first quarter all those books will be that they use during that quarter will be donated to the book lending program. One of the big things that I'm working on is education and I feel it's important that students be educated about their finances that once they graduate college uh, they have to you know know how to pay back their loans if they have any and what to deal with and, and how to deal with uh, loans and creditors and so uh, I believe in a proactive approach to uh, resolving financial issues and through money management workshops and through uh, get, uh, earn mon or get money after you graduate workshops students will be educated and learn how to you know adjust to the to the real world uh, so we have two uh, things that we want to change on campus and two things that we want to work on a, on a larger broader state level and uh, on campus we want to uh, reform the emergency the I'm sorry we, we want to reform the book lending program which has been like stalling for years and uh, you know by adding a service component we want to try to find funding for it so so that there's there's always continuous funding for it and uh, people can always have books available to them 
I want to work with the um, administration in analyzing and perhaps improving the the emergency loans that that the office that the financial aid office provides. Also, we want to work to create a student guide for fees and financial aid so that all students can know where the money uh, is coming from and in. Uh, you know, in terms of financial aid and where it will be going once we pay our fees and how the university is going to use them. Uh, in, in terms of, of my work in the Financial Sports Commission, I want to continue a lot of the work that I've already been doing in IDEAS, which is a, a uh, advocacy group for, for student immigrant rights. And we found that a lot of the, the scholarships that are funded by tuition fees uh, have citizenship requirements that uh, leave out a lot of the students that, you know, whose tuition pays uh, and funds those scholarships. So we want to uh, continue to work in, in, our, in terms of uh, equity uh, for scholarships and financial aid, and that's a lot of the work that, that we want to do out of the commission as well.